हेलो एवरी वन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर टू एनालिसिस ऑफ सोप्स एंड डिटर्जेंट्स इन दिस वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सोप्स एंड दी डिटर्जेंट्स एंड देन वी हैव सीन जनरल स्कीम ऑफ एनालिसिस एज जनरल स्कीम ऑफ एनालिसिस इन्वॉल्व द सैम्पलिंग प्रोसेस इन डिटेल वी हैव seen it in last lecture and in sampling there are four parts volatile substance in which moisture and solvent then alcohol soluble components then alcohol insoluble components these are the parts of a sampling method so initially we have seen first point in last lecture that is sampling and in today's lecture we will see preparation of sample so preparation of sample involves again three steps powder and flax then liquid sample and third one is a paste so we will start with the second point of analysis method that is the preparation of sample so preparation of sample in which first point is powder and flax so minimizing the exposure to air rapidly disintegrate and mix samples of powder flax or cheap product cotton so we have to minimize the exposure to air and rapid disintegration of a powder or the flax and mix sample of powder flax or cheap product cotton so we want to minimize the sample should be away from air then it should not get disintegrate fast away so it is desired cotton drawn about one leaf that is 4536 g weigh accurately at once all the four portions that is cotton is means four portions so accurately weigh all the four portions and each quarter is of a one leaf and remaining material is placed in all air tight container or the box in the cool place so by such a way we can prepare the powder and flax material so initially we want to minimize the exposure to air and disintegration of the powder and the flax samples then mix sample of powder flax or the chip quality product will be formed so we want to minimize this by using the cotton so cotton is a drawn about one leaf that is 4536 g weigh so take weight accurately at once of all the four portions and remaining material can be kept in your tight box or the container and store this material in the cool place so this is about the powder and flax next point is the liquid so for liquids initially we have to mix thoroughly the liquid samples if sample is received during very cold weather it should be allowed to stand at least 1 hour and then it is warm to room temperature before it is tested particularly for its lathering qualities that means initially we have to mix all the liquid samples thoroughly and when this liquid samples we will receive in the very cold weather at that time we have to allow the sample to stand at least 1 hour and then it is warm at the room temperature before testing the particular qualities then third is the paste so store soaps preferably in the glasses so paste can be stored in the glass material if crystals are separate then melt on the water bath so that it will get a uniform nature if paste or liquid are known to be acidic and decomposition of sample can result from heating the sample shall be adequately labeled for precautionary treatment and warm to the room temperature don't provide 
overheating or other maximum temperature as agreed upon for the mixing of the samples so see paste material can be stored always in the glasses and if the crystals are formed or the crystals are separated then we have to melt this sample on the water bath but if paste or liquid are known to be acidic in nature that decomposition of sample can results from the heating so such a type of label can be marked on the paste for the precautionary treatment so warm the material at the room temperature or other maximum temperature as agreed upon for the mixing of the sample during the sampling process so this is for the paste storage nextly we have seen initially the method of analysis in which we have seen four parts in the general scheme of analysis of the soaps and detergent first one is volatile next one is alcohol soluble then alcohol insoluble and last one is a special tests are there so initially we will see the alcohol soluble materials so alcohol soluble materials are tested by using following way so reagents used for this methods are ethyl alcohol which is used 95% and again we requires the ethyl alcohol but this ethyl alcohol is a absolute alcohol so here is the procedure so in the procedure for alcohol soluble materials first point is for paste or liquid weight accurately 20 g of sample so this alcohol soluble materials involves paste or the liquids so initially we have to weigh around 20 g of the sample then give washing to this sample into a 400 ml anti bump beaker with ethyl alcohol so this time we can use the absolute alcohol for washing purpose then for powders we have to weigh 10 g of the powder and transfer this powder to a 400 ml anti bump beaker so when we take liquids or the paste you have to weigh 20 g of the sample and when we are using powders at that time take weight of the powder is around 10 g and all this can be transferred into a anti bump beaker then we are going to add 300 to 350 ml hot absolute ethyl alcohol into it cover the bump anti bump beaker with the watch glass and heat on the steam bath and this heat is provided up to 2 hours then stir frequently to disperse solids and break up the lumps so here initially we have taken suppose 20 g of the paste or the liquid or the 10 g of the powder and this can be transferred into the anti bump beaker then give washing to this by using ethyl alcohol then add around 300 to 350 ml of hot absolute ethyl alcohol into it and cover the beaker with the glass watch glass and heat the system up to 2 hours with continuous stirring so that the solids get can get dispersed or break the lumps then after 2 hours remove the beaker from steam batch and filter the solution through the wet filter paper or the tied gouge crucible or center glass crucible then we are going to add around 50 ml of the hot ethanol or the ethyl alcohol which is 95% pure to remain residue in beaker heat to boiling on hot plate breaking any lump of residue with glass rod then again we are going to filter this solution through the filter paper or the gouge crucible repeat the procedure again with another 50 ml portion of the hot ethanol that is we are going to wash again the residue or the sample with 95% ethyl alcohol that is ethanol then we are going to evaporate the residual alcohol from residue in a beaker or steam bath 
Then dissolve the remaining residue in a beaker with 10 ml of the hot water bath until the solution is concentrated. Solution volume will decrease. Dilute the water solution to 200 ml absolute ethanol. Boil it on the steam bath and filter through various filter papers. Finally, transfer the precipitate along with hot alcohol that is the absolute alcohol and wash the residue with hot ethyl alcohol 95%. Give at least 3 to 4 washings, combine filtrate and washings in a 1 liter volumetric flask, then cool the solution and make its volume up to the 1000 ml with 95% pure alcohol and mix the solution thoroughly. Then transfer a 200 ml of the aliquot to a flask, operate on the steam bath in a gentle steam or clean and dry oil free air until the residue has no odor of alcohol. After that, lastly we are going to calculate the alcohol soluble matter. So, Calculate the uncorrected percentage of alcohol soluble matter as follows. So, alcohol soluble matter which is uncorrected matter that is calculated in percentage form is equal to A by B into 100. Here A is the grams of residue and B is the gram of sample represented by the aliquot used. So, by this way we can find out the alcohol soluble components present in the soaps and the detergent. So, again I will explain in short all the method. So, initially for finding the amount of material which is soluble in the alcohol, we have to take the reagents ethyl alcohol which is 95 percent and the 95 percent pure and the ethyl alcohol which is the absolute alcohol. So, initially we are going to weigh around 20 gram of the liquid or the patch sample or take 10 gram of the powder sample, then transfer this sample into the 400 ml antibiotic beaker, then give washing with the alcohol which is required around 300 to 350 ml. So, then when we are going to add the alcohol 300 to 350 ml, after that cover the beaker with the wash glass and heat the steam bath for at least 2 hours with continuous stirring so that the solid lumps will get dissolved. After 2 hours remove the beaker from the steam bath and then filter the solution and this can be filtered through the teared gooch crucible or sintered glass crucible. Then we are going to add around 50 ml of the hot ethanol which is 95 percent pure to remain the residue in the beaker itself. Then heat to boiling on hot plate breaking any lumps of residue with the glass rod. Then again we are going to filter the solution mm. with Gruch crucible. Repeat the procedure again by addition of 50 ml alcohol. Then evaporate the residual alcohol from the residue in the beaker on the steam bath. After that dissolve residue in a beaker with 10 ml of hot water bath until the solution is concentrated. Dilute the water solution to 200 ml, the absolute ethanol, boil on steam bath and filter through the various filter papers. Finally, we are going to transfer this precipitate along with hot alcohol. And lastly, again we are going to give washings, at least 3 to 4 washings are required. Then transfer this solution to a 1 liter volumetric flask. After cooling the solution, we are going to make up the volume of the solution to the 1 liter. Then mix the solution thoroughly. Then from this, we are going to take 200 ml of the aliquot to a flask. Then evaporate this solution on the steam bath and pass the clean air through it until the residue has no order of the alcohol and lastly we are going to calculate the uncorrected percentage of the alcohol soluble matter which is equal to A by B into 100 here A is the gram of residue which we have obtained 
and divided by b that is grams of sample represented by the aliquot used so by this way we are going to calculate the amount of substance which is soluble in the alcohol from soaps and detergents